We see the value of this technology not just through its ability to provide clean energy for the local community, but also through its ability to engage and communicate and educate. Millions of people will be seeing them. It's a matter of combining different technologies and Owind is, is a key point of that for cities because it's very difficult to disrupt the present energy systems in cities beyond the power grid. Owind has the potential to do that. Solar panels have long been a popular choice for generating renewable energy at home, converting sunlight into electricity efficiently. However, in 2024, NASA's latest wind turbine for residential use is stirring up the debate on renewable energy. There are claims this wind turbine might outshine traditional solar panels. As more people look for the best way to use renewable energy at home, this innovation could make wind power a more attractive option. We want the Owen to be in cities. We want to be able to give people living in cities, which is more than half of the population in the world right now, the possibility to generate their own electricity, to be engaged with technology and to be engaged with reducing carbon and make a contribution to the environment. Could NASA's wind turbine really be better than solar panels for homes? Join us as we explore the future of home energy solutions. NASA's wind turbine. One fascinating thing about the O wind turbine is its ability to rotate around a single axis no matter which way the wind blows. This flexibility makes it ideal for urban environments where wind patterns are often unpredictable. The O wind turbine represents a breakthrough in wind power technology. Unlike traditional turbines that need to face the wind directly, omnidirectional turbines like the O wind can capture wind from any direction. By omni, what is meant is all or every in Latin, which highlights their ability to utilize wind from every angle. Developed by O Innovations for a NASA project, the O wind turbine was initially intended to explore Mars using wind-driven balls. This technology proved it could move straight by capturing crosswinds, leading to the creation of this innovative turbine. The O wind turbine's design won the James Dyson Award in 2018. But this isn't common today. I'll let you know why. Keep watching, this is going to get even more interesting. The O wind turbine is made using 3D printing, which should theoretically lower production costs. It can be installed almost anywhere, needing only a generator to convert motion into electricity and a mounting system. The design even allows it to be used in apartments where it can be fixed to balconies like a solar panel. Despite its promising features, small-scale wind turbines are still in their infancy and face several hurdles. Although 3D printing can reduce costs, they remain more expensive than solar panels. Most home wind turbines are not yet mass-produced, making them less accessible. However, combining wind and solar power remains a compelling idea. The French company UNOL has developed an innovative hybrid energy system by combining photovoltaic panels with wind turbines. However, the roof can hold up to 24 modules, boosting the peak capacity to 9.84 kilowatts. Wenol opted for vertical wind turbines to pair with the solar panels because these turbines can generate power in low wind conditions and operate quietly, making them ideal for urban and residential settings. Each wind turbine can produce 2.5 kilowatts at a wind speed of 10 meters per second. With a 10 kilowatt hour battery storage, this hybrid system is capable of powering an entire home off the grid, offering complete energy independence. Uinol recommends installing the system at a height of at least 10 meters to maximize wind efficiency and reduce interference from nearby buildings and trees. Uinol plans to first roll out this system on commercial buildings to boost production. They aim to have the first installations in France by the end of 2023, with expansion into neighboring countries in 2024. For a system installed on a 1,000 meters square roof, the estimated cost ranges from $300,000 to $500,000. This price covers the solar panels, wind turbines, steel structure, cabling, and a feasibility study conducted by UNOL. This hybrid rooftop system is designed to provide clean, renewable energy year-round, but is suitable only for flat roofs. Meanwhile, a Canadian company has introduced an exciting new design, 
that leverages pitched roofs to enhance wind turbine efficiency. However, let us further analyze the similarities and differences between these two innovations. NASA Wind Turbine VS Solar Panel Despite the growth in green energy, wind energy still makes up only 20% of U.S. electricity. For wind and solar power to rival oil, coal, and natural gas, we need better, cost-effective ways to store energy for times when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. As the costs of solar panels and wind turbines continue to decrease, more people will likely switch from polluting energy sources. While no energy source is perfect, if wind and solar continue to grow rapidly, they could become serious competitors to fossil fuels. The path to renewable energy is a journey filled with exploration and innovation. Despite ongoing challenges, advancements in home wind turbines, particularly omnidirectional and hybrid designs, mark a major leap toward a greener and more sustainable future. It may shock you to realize that only one wind turbine is needed to match approximately 48,704 solar panels to generate the same amount of electricity per kilowatt hour. In the US, companies like Google, Microsoft, and Dow Chemical are purchasing five times more wind power than solar power as they work toward their ambitious emissions goals. Google is particularly notable, reaching around 2,349 gigawatts and 141 megawatts of solar power from global projects. This puts Google on track to achieve its 100% renewable energy target next year. Brian Janus, Microsoft's Director of Energy Strategy, told The Guardian that while business involvement in buying solar and wind power is growing, the industry still faces challenges in expanding this market. While wind and solar power have experienced significant growth in the past decade, they still represent only a fraction of the world's total energy generation capacity. An estimate shows that the amount of wind and solar supply will go up exponentially in 2030 and 2050, compared with 2010 and 2021. However, to compete with fossil fuel, solar and wind require cost-effective methods for storing their energy for use during inefficient periods. Nevertheless, the industry has experienced a steady decline in costs thanks to technological advancements and favorable trends in renewable energy pricing. A recent report from the International Energy Agency predicts that global wind and solar power capacity will double by 2025, reaching around 2,349 gigawatts. In suburban or urban areas, solar panels present a more feasible choice. These panels can be conveniently installed on the rooftops of various structures, including residential buildings, schools, and commercial establishments. While utilities typically lean towards wind power as their preferred renewable energy source, could blending traditional technologies with modern innovations lead to more effective and sustainable energy solutions? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Click the next video on your screen to enjoy another profound content from our channel.